The idea for this study first came to me in 2004. I was a brand new tenure track assistant professor at the University of Central Oklahoma, and I knew that to get tenure and promoted, I would need to develop and build a research agenda. I wasn't sure what I was interested in studying at the time, but I knew that if I looked hard enough, I would find something. 2004 was also the year that methamphetamine lab seizures were at the height across the state. It would be the year that House Bill 2176, the legislation that placed um, pseudofedrin across over the counters would be passed. Similar le legislation would be enacted federally in 2005. So the field was ripe for this as an area of study. One day when I was sitting in my office, one of my former professors, who had been one of the hardest professors I had had at the time, came into my office and saw me looking at a map of Oklahoma. He pointed to a part of the map on the northeastern part of the state and said, there's a lot of meth labs there. I didn't really know what that meant at the time, but apparently there were a lot of meth labs there. It was around that time that I met someone else through some friends of friends. And it was a man I had never met before. And he came and he handed me a piece of paper. And I opened it up and looked at it. It was a little rusty and orange. And it turns out it was his methamphetamine recipe and that he was doing his best to exit the life. Again, I didn't know what methamphetamine was. And I decided to find out more.